This is a note on how to read uh, temperatures from a uh, satellite image, a um, sea surface temperature, SST, sea surface temperature satellite image. These are uh, data from uh, Rutgers University, which is one of the good sources for uh, sea surface temperature direct measurements. And, uh, and so we have a scale here, obviously. So you could do things, um, you could do things like this, just uh, catch a section over here, you know, of like this. I mean, this is, this is not the method I'm going to use, but I mean, this is one way to do it. And then, then uh, I, oh, that's not what I wanted. Command C, uh, close that. I want to uh, delete. I want to put it right in here. That would be a command V. I'm on a Mac, and the tricks I'm going to use here are on a Mac. So here you could do you could do something like this and uh, move that around, and then read the temperatures when they start to match. So this thing is something like this, which is maybe 82 or something. So that's one way to do it. Now that obviously you can do Mac or PC. That is because there's all sorts of capture pro screen programs and so forth. Another way to optimize this is this is 78 and this is 88. So that's 10. So I could go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, something like this. And uh, let's see. And then maybe bring that down to here, maybe like that, something like that. Then do Command C. Uh, well, Control C or Command C, and then Command. Oh, then I've got to rotate it. And in the Mac, I have to do it this way. I would do Command N and get a new one. Then I would rotate it. Then I would do Command A, Command C. Now I can go back here and Command V. So now I have this scale here, and uh, that's 78 at the 88 at the top. This is. Uh, 88 oh okay so I'm going way up to here okay actually it's, oh I should have made it a little bit broader but you see if I go 88 here and then I bring this up to 78 like this then I have a, then I have a scale so this is a 78 uh, 79 80 81 82 83 on like that then when you capture this like this well actually it might be better to move that over just a little bit and then uh, comm uh, shift command C capture that wait a minute shift command 4 maybe yeah and then capture that then you have that actually then you can probably just go in here command N oh. I keep doing the wrong one, sorry. Command V, it would be Command V. Okay, so I didn't capture that thing properly. Command C, Command V. Okay, there's better. See, now you could bring the temperature down here. Oh, I brought it the wrong way. But now you could bring the, you know, match these colors you know you could then match these colors like that and go in here and say this is about 83 and something like that okay so that's that sort of technique now I want to go to something that's uniquely Mac uh, because um, uh, because it's a uses a Mac app a free Mac app a really nice one called pixel stick and so with a pixel stick. Oh, I still need to have this calibration up here. So let me uh, let me do that once again. I'll just go uh, Shift Command Four. Shift Command Four is what I'm doing there. And then I'm going to take this uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. So I've got my scale there. I'll make it a little bit bigger this time. Okay. Then I've got that. Then I've got to go Command N for a new one. Oh wow, I didn't capture it. So I'm showing all the things to do wrong. Delete. Okay, why didn't that? Um, two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, and one of these has to be up close to this, that's for sure. 
and that should be closer here. So that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Now, Command C, I've captured that area. Now I've got to make a new program. Command N is a new picture. That's right. I don't know what I did wrong before. Rotate it. Now I can capture the whole thing. I'll do that again. Command A. Command C. All right, now I'm back here. Command V. Okay, so now I have a scale um, that I can put on here somewhere. Uh, 78. Okay. Now move that over a little bit. Bring it down. All right, so there I'm set up. I've got a scale here, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. So now I have a scale on here. So now my next step is to do the trick. Okay, finally the trick, sorry. Uh, pixel stick, uh, pixel stick. Here's pixel stick. This is actually mainly used to uh, measure distances and headings and bearings and things like that. And uh, these folks actually at Pixel Stick made a real nice change to it so we can use it to read uh, maps in a normal way with bearings and so forth. But that's not the subject at hand. Now I want to deal with these colors. It has this neat color tool down here. So you see, I can now where my cursor is, I'm looking, I want to know what the temperature is in this area here. So what I've set this at here is RGB. There's other ways to do it, but this looks like the easiest to me. So that's that's RGB. So this color right in this area here I see is F100. Right in here is F100. If I start coming out a little bit, there's D100, but here's F100. F100. So the question is, where is F100 up here? And if I go up here, E, 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 F100. So look, F100 goes everywhere from like there to there. So F100 is that number, which is 78, 79, 80, 81, 82. So that's, this is 82 degrees right here. Now, if I, uh, or, and like if I go right in here, I'm getting F, F, uh, like it looks like F10. This region is sort of like an F10, F20. F10, F20, F0. So I can go over here and come down to, where's F10? Well, you could, oh, there's F10. So F10, F0, uh, F0, F10. So there you go, there's F. So it just depends. When you need to know this, this is a way to get it. So it looks like uh, F20 is right about 78, 70, right about 80 degrees, a little bit, maybe 80 and, 80 and a half, something like that. But anyway, so there's a way with this very simple free app for a Macintosh computer, uh, Pixel Stick, that can be used to read uh, uh, rather precise temperatures from one of these uh, SST graphs, plots, uh, excuse me, satellite images.